Maybe it's something I have to agree with then. That arrangement is. The hammer is suspicious. No. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? The other one's oil. Shit. Okay, it's wrong. I wasn't out of time. What if the wire was tied to his neck and, and the elevator? Well, what it says here is that Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied with a metal wire, so... There, there's no indication that there's nothing around his neck. If that makes sense, I don't know. So I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. I got hit again. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is the hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? It's not that. What about the oil on the floor? No, but he says oil on the floor. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. Oh, 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 that one. I forgot about you. No, get out of the way. Ah! Oh, thank God. I agree with that. Oh, I, I, I panicked. I hit all the buttons. Okay. I forgot he mentioned the doorknob. Door I thought it was just three. On it? I forgot it was just the three of them. There we go. That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. There we go. Okay. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekamaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair! Until the doorknob broke. That's right. He was suspended in midair. Huh? The killer tied up Nekamaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. That's mean. Tied the tip of the wire Sub into slice. a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. And suspended Mekamaru in midair. Rude. That's right! He was so well hung! Oh my god. <laughs> like. Stop. You better not finish that sentence! Just stop. The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. Man. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaru could fall to his death. Too easy. Hi. Jesus Christ, I'm awake. Chat, you awake? So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Did Why? But the blood on the pill. Nekamaru is suspended in midair like that. Then how do you get him to fall? The doorknob broke! Are you just if he's suspended in midair? He won't die if he uh, doesn't uh, actually uh, fall. Alright. Wire chipped over pillar. Oh god. I don't know. Even if they suspended Nekomaru, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. Oh, I have no more cuts. There's what no the way they could do that. I didn't get anything. Okay. What? I have no cuts. Seems like a certain difference in elevation inside the tower is used to kill Nekomaru. You can find the answer in Counter Kazuichi's remarks. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him. There's no way they could do that. Shit. In. I can't back down. Go, go, go. Ah! Fuck you. Okay, I still don't know what it I'm doing. Mean someone had to push him off. Okay. It's possible that he fell on his own. Yeah. What? Nekomaru fell on his. Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode. If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the time if you want to. But in that case, you still won't be able to explain the Fuck. drop. I just want to see. Damn it! Is there a way to see all of the bullets? Like to pause for a second? Cause like, holy shit. Open a handbook menu, overturn, overturn, no. Uh, slash, nope, nope, nope. There is not, okay. 
That's the one thing I don't like about this one is that I just I have to like hastily look through the bullets to even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Fox alarm. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, no. there's no way he could do that to himself. Fuck, <laughs> dude. Now's the time if you want to put in that case. You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside is just impossible. End of story. Yeah, concentrate slows it down, but it takes a while for it to build back up. I guess I should use that at that point. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Uh, no. That was the wrong spot to use that. Shit. I think it's the other remark. What? Nekomaru? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? What? Okay. Okay, um... Oh, it's fine, Fuller. People type exclamation mark lurk all the time. It's no biggie. Okay. Um. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the time if you want to take back that sleep. But in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. Okay, are we arguing? Damn it! What are we... Are we are we arguing how he fell, or how... This one's super confusing. Oh no, it's it's not every lurk, it's just ev lurk, E-H-V lurk. That's how that works. Uh... Okay, hold on. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. I like this music. Oh, that one's Nekomaru's clock. I saw that was like a blade thingy, like a bullet, but I didn't realize that it was his clock. Nekomaru's used his alarm clock to recover from sleep mode. The clock's arms and, uh, are stopped around 7.30, and the alarm was set to 7.30 as well. Oh, so maybe they set the alarm to make a move. Oh, okay. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Is it this one? No, okay, so it's the other one. Sorry, I'm dumb. Crap. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. What? Nekomaru, Nekomaru should have still been in sleep. Oh, no. Right? Oh, thank you. Right. cut through those words. That's, I, that game is really fun, but... What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke like up I said, while he was suspended upside really, down? It's really, really frustrating to try to, you know fight back all of his all of his words and stuff like that and try to flip through the uh all of the truth bullets that you have to try and figure things out yeah allow me to cut through those words like I'm glad you like that line Donnie what are you saying like how would he even wake up he has an alarm inside his body as long as it was armed it would have deactivated his sleep mode motherfucker 
<laughs> Which means thank the killer you. set the alarm before they suspended Nekamaru. Uh, Crimson Rosebud, thank you for the uh, random you gift to sub, Galaxy alarm, Queen. And realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. You would panic. If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Mekamaru probably did exactly that. Damn, that's why there's scratches then, on the doorknob. In order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. Kudos to that doorknob for holding his weight for so long. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? Nope, it broke off he the doorknob. Fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, hey. which Ugh. caused the doorknob Excuse to me. break off. Was that unexpected for the killer, too? Well, that's probably it. Thank you, guys. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that that even happened was because... In that case, I shall use my full power! With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. Oh, because he fucked with the doorknob earlier? So he weakened it? Oh. Aww, no, aww. Cause yeah, we were trying to get the door open earlier and he was putting a ton of force on the doorknobs. Isn't it creaking? If we break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Aww. That's really what it was. Then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. Do you finally understand now? Man! Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so! And I was about to feel bad no, for him. I believe you gave your all. Hey! Why aren't you teasing me anymore? Oh, God. This guy. He gets off on this! Okay. So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, no. you know that too, the pillar. right? He crashed into the pillar. Because there's no ceiling on the top part of the pillar, so that makes sense. <sighs> the moment Nekomaru fell to the floor, the only thing I can think of that happened to him was... He collided with the pillar! I see! Excuse me. When Nekomaru fell to the floor, he ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Yep. Yeah, cola came out of his eyes. Oh, the pillar! An orange so fanta. that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. Excuse me. See, I told this you the pillar Coke was the weapon. This makes me so My goddamn burpy. totally right! Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! Stop calling me baby gangsta! <laughs> I love that! What did you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? Yep. <laughs> You didn't check it yourself? Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. I think this is where the clock times being switched are going to come in. Now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way and... I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. I think it was Akane who said, like, a bunch of people said they woke up when they heard that big crash, which was, uh, around 
Or so the clock said. So what's going on here? We'll figure it out. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went What's DST? Off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. Dimple shit titty. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? Th oh, That's dimple tit titty, got it. Sorry, dimple shit titty. Another mystery I don't understand, seriously, it's just one after the other. Yeah, this one is so ridiculous. I can't choke up at a time like this. I just a little more and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. Oh, for fuck's sakes. These arguments are so tough. Good night button, Fuhiko's account. Wall clock. Okay. That's Nekomaru's clock. Radio clock? Okay, hold on. What's radio clock? I forget. We headed for Grape Tower. Okay, so wall clock. 5.30 a.m., the alarm on the wall clock on the lounge on the Strawberry House's second floor started going off. Fuyuhiko's at the lounge by coincidence and managed to stop the alarm, but Kazuichi and Gundam rushed to... I lost my spot. Right, rushed to the lounge after being alerted by the sound. However, Nagato was the only one who didn't hear it. So that's... So what's radio clock? Wait, what? The clock in Nekomaru's chest receives radio waves at fixed intervals and automatically adjusts itself if its time is off. Basically, it's an amazingly precise clock that can't be tampered with, not even to set the time. But you can set an alarm. So the clock he had was not tampered with. So the wall clock was... Before 7 a.m., I am certain. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Yes, it was. Or Nekomaru was it? died because of that yeah. alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. An illusion. What are you hiding? The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. No. That's gotta be it! Okay, so I think it's what Gundam might have said. Damn it! Oopsies. We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? This time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. Hmm. The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. No, I know I was for. That's gotta be it. Don't worry, we don't need to do the the the, the, the back seaty thing. That was my intention because I can't I can't decide which one. What bullet I want to use. We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am so certain. But what you said makes me think that I was just wrong, so. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest. Kind of narrows it down. Was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. Hmm. The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. That's gotta be it! Hmm. The alarm that caused Nekomaru's death rang at 7.30 a.m. We discover his body before 7 a.m. Which clock? I don't know which clock. Ah!
because the radio one should be the correct one because it's extreme. It's it's just the most accurate, which means the other ones were tampered with. So him, his alarm being set for 7:30 is right. So at the time that that happened, the big crash sound happened. To everybody else, it looked like 5:30 because the other clock was tampered with. When in actuality, it was 7.30. So when they say... Uh, so when they actually went from Monokuma Tai Chi, it was 9? Okay. I can't brain when I'm this tired, man. That's it. I have no more power. We headed for Grape Tower. Yeah. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. Ah. Uh, but the alarm inside Nekamaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Yep. Nekamaru died because of that alarm, right? Excuse me. His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. I think the seven one should be Killer wrong. Killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. No. No, that's wrong. That's wrong because it's an extremely accurate clock. There we go. There's a lot no, of things that it could have been chest was a for that clock, argument. So it would have been impossible to mess with. Just had to narrow it down. Welcome back, bad face. So you're saying there's <laughs> no way the killer could have tampered with a clock? Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No. I checked all the clocks inside the front house. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying. Then, maybe it's a misunderstanding? I never misunderstand! I'll crush you into dog food! This time-related contradiction, I don't think I should doubt the testimonies. I should doubt the clock. Duh. There's no mistake that something was done, but what was it? Perhaps we overlooked something. Maybe we're misunderstanding something. I think if I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer- okay. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, come on. No, I don't know. Ah. Okay. Breathe. We can do this. It's not going to be terrible like last time. We're fine. Everything's fine. As long as the walls don't pop up sporadically out of nowhere. I hit the Y button? What the fuck? Excuse you. Maybe I can't go that way. Yeah, Donnie, that that gif is. I was looking at chat. <laughs> that gif is perfect for uh for the situation. Eh. This way. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Give me the boost. Go speedy. Woo. Okay. What did Hajime and the others misunderstand? The time in the building, who the killer is, where the, uh, time in the building. Okay. Yeah, F splat, seriously. Logic drive! Okay. Okay, this is easier than last time. Oh god. Just when I say it. Ah! Gurg! We're good! Tony Hawk over here. Which clock was tampered with? Nekomaru's, uh, the building's clocks. I mean, technically both if he set the alarm, but not, not in the way we're discussing. The building clocks were. Nekomaru's was tampered in a way where it was just setting the alarm, but not changing the time itself. To be specific. Huh. Huh. Oh god. Please stop this. I don't like it. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, we're good. Yeah. We're fine. Everything's perfectly fine. <laughs> All right. Which house had the wrong time? Uh, strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Pure Canadian skills, damn straight. Fun fact, I've only ever cross-country skied in my life. Oh, right, because Akane woke up. It's Grape House, I think. Was it Grape House? Is that the one that was... Yeah, it was Grape House. I knew that. Fuck! <laughs> I need to go to bed! <laughs> Stop laughing at me, Donnie! I'm tired. <laughs> Because she was saying 7 a.m. Jeez. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> I was so focused on Strawberry House. Uh. <laughs> it's all coming together. Yeah, it's super coming together. I understand everything. You said you checked all the clocks inside the building. Isn't that right for you, Hiko? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But what if all those clocks have been messed with? I feel sorry for the fuckers that decided what? to watch this on YouTube. I really all do. All the clocks! So even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. What? I see. So the killer messed with the time inside the whole building by changing all well, the clocks. Well, I mean, clocks. if they get, had access to both houses, then yeah. <laughs> so that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. This is truly fantastic! Oh, I bet now it is, Nagato. Be pleased. More importantly, how much was the time off? A lot. She's right, that's the main problem. I need to clarify by how much the time was off after the killer messed with the clocks. That's definitely the next mystery. I'm going to reach the truth in one go! No more arguments, please! Ah! Kane's account for you, he goes, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Kane's account I know is going to be important. I think. If the time in the building was all messed up, then we can only rely on Nekomaru's radio clock. The time of death was clearly 7.30 a.m. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be in our time? Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? If only I heard the sound when he fell. Yeah, Connie heard it! With that. Boom! I'm big brain. Big brain chat. Look at me go. Everybody spam it. That's right. We should have heard the sound he made when he fell. Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Akane! So it's two hours. Rumbling? Two hours. It was just an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? Well, a huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's obvious we'd hear the impact sound. We heard that noise too! It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. What is it, Sonia? Oh, well, that sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Oh! I just remembered something about the rooms. She didn't hear it. Nagato didn't hear it and didn't come out for the alarm either. Boogie 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 wakey, wakey. Thank you for the bits, Riblum. I appreciate it. But no, um, the... The... The nicest rooms, like the luxury ones, they're more in like uh was it insulated than the other rooms? Because they were explaining it earlier and like the crappy rooms had a like a cold draft and um the, like the regular rooms were like slightly less insulated. Yeah, they're more soundproof. Yeah, they were talking about that a long time ago, and that just fucking dawned on me. 
huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, yeah, but no. I could not sleep at all. Perfect for streaming. I was awake yeah. the whole night with hunger pains. There's nothing to worry about. What's important is that rumbling noise anyway. Do you guys say hunger pangs or hunger pain? I'd like to think that those are the same things, but I don't think everyone says hunger pangs. I think it's pain. Yeah, because I say pain. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time I've is heard off. pangs before, but I hear pain more. Yeah. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. Huh? You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. There we go. Pangry. Excellent work, yeah. Akane! The fuck is a pang? It's a fancy word for a hockey puck. I don't know. The rumbling sound. It's like the answer. Uh, uh, two hours. I see. Nekomaru's alarm went off at 7:30. Yes, sir. And if we heard the sound of his impact at 5:30, that means our time was off by two hours. Two hours? That much? We were starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Reoccurring pains? I'm not sure. Plus, Sudden sharp pain or no painful windows. emotion. Ah. There weren't any Monokuma announcements either. So that, then by that, you know, saying pain or pang, it's correct either way. Learn to pronounce noun a sudden sharp pain or painful emotion. Yep. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? The reason is obvious. So they can lure out just Nekomaru. That's so cruel. Lure out only Nekomaru? If you messed with the clocks and used a specific thing, you definitely get Nekomaru to the tower alone, right? This is mean. From there, the killer's plan was a splendid success. That's all it means. Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. If they were trying to lure only Nekomaru, then that specific thing is... Oh, there's no more massage time! That's right! Uh, the rumbling noise? No. No, the clock alarm didn't go off until after he was gone, so I guess... Yeah, because Monokuma Tai Chi, if he would lure him out by making him go to Tai Chi based on the... Okay, yeah. I see! Because if it was time for Tai Chi, then he would have had to go. That's it. The killer made use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity. Who did world. this monstrous act? How did they use it? We were required to go to Great Tower every morning at 7 a.m. for that activity, right? But if they mess with all the clocks inside the building, what would that do to us? We wouldn't be able to attend on time, but that wouldn't affect Nekomaru. Because his clock is accurate! His radio clock had the exact time. That's so... Right. In doing so, oh. the killer was able to lure him to the tower by himself at the precise time. And when I witnessed Nekomaru early in the morning... That's where he was going. Oh. If I recall, you witnessed Nekomaru around 5 a.m. But it would have been actually 7 a.m. it also two hours off, oh. it should have been 7 a.m. Nekomaru, yeah, no! That's pretty much it. At that time... He was heading over to Monokuma Tai Chi, right on schedule. I see. Now that I think about it, I realize what Monokuma meant when he said those words. The only thing that bugs me is how did they manage to... How did they manage to hit his goodnight button while he was still... awake? Too early! I feel he like some, he would have noticed yet. someone behind him going, boop! You know what I mean? I honestly didn't expect everyone to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. But it turned out like this after all, so I guess it can't be helped. Oh! Yeah, he did say that. What's up, Nitro? When you said everyone, you were including us, right? Yeah, you could have trusted them. We thought we came to the tower on time, but in truth, it was way past the meeting time. Aw, oh, jeez! That's, well, how should I put it? Um, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot or something like I that. Know, yesterday, we'll go to sleep then, Are man. Are you talking about? You need sleep. Tripping over someone else's fault? Wrong. Too bad. Liar! I'm right. That's 
That's not it! It's incorrect! Th that's definitely the correct answer. You always get so stubborn like this. Let's just ignore the peanut gallery. Thank you. Now that we've found out how the killer lured Nekomaru... See, Donnie, peanut gallery is a term. I think it was you that I talked to and I said peanut gallery one time. You didn't know what it meant. Peanut gallery. It's just people spouting off things that aren't important to the current situation. Haha. -ha. The number of suspects <laughs> I think has it was drastically you anyways. decreased. Huh? Hey, why would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't be a friggin' liar! Yeah, I don't know. You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what Fuyuhiko's going to say next. What? Fuyuhiko, what did huh? you do? What the hell do you mean? Yeah, Matt, nice. You witnessed Heard it in Nekomaru school a lot. going toward the tower. Did something else happen after that? Are you talking about that alarm? Alarm, alarm! Mm. Alarm, alarm, alarm! Alarm? A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru, the clock in the Strawberry House Lounge started going off. Oh, that's right, the alarm. Okay. Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. That's it. So that's what it is. If Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is prime suspect. Really? Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? I... Remember now, the sound I don't. was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. But there was one guy who never left the lounge. We were both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest room. Which means that person does not have an alibi for when Nekomaru fell? Who is it? Who's the bastard? It's whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time, right? Wait, 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 wait. Um, weren't they all there when the alarm was going off? Because he was trying to control the clock. I mean, Nagato didn't come out of his room. But it was soundproofed. You're the only one! Yeah. Okay. The one who wasn't there. It's you, right, Nagito? That's right. Nagito wasn't there. Sorry, because I was gonna say. It was just me, Gundam, and Fuyuhiko. You didn't come out, even though the alarm was going off like crazy. Okay. You weren't in your room, were you? If that's the case, where were you? Please. Say something! Was it really Nagato? If you don't hurry up and answer, I'm gonna suicide dive you! If I may be frank, even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I couldn't. You couldn't? You couldn't? What do you mean? <laughs> it's merely the foolish talk of the weak. No not good, Walker, how are I you? I not hear the alarm. I never even heard that rumbling sound. Yeah, because you were in the one of the higher end rooms, so it was soundproof. You're definitely fucking lying. I'm positive that was a thing. Uh, however, that is also true for me. And she was in it one of those rooms too. It is obvious that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. She was in one. Chiaki was in one. Nagato was in one. Was Gundam in the other one? I think it was Gundam in the other one. Those were the because there were four total on. But split between the two floors. Because I, I, I remember because of the free time and stuff walking around. I was in her room. I tried to talk to Chiaki. And then walking by the other ones. I think I accidentally went to Gundam's room. But I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? Wait. I mean, everyone else heard it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I'll let them talk. Because if I'm right. To be honest, it's not just them. The same goes for See? me, too. See? I was in a pretty deep sleep. Yeah. So I thought that's why I couldn't hear it, but... 
It wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. Oh my god. Couldn't hear it? What does that mean? That's why everybody else heard it, because they were in you the luxury still rooms. don't know. Think about what the three of us who didn't hear a sound have in common. And I'm sure okay. you'll figure it out. If I'm right on this, that means... There's something up with Gundam. Because he was in one of those rooms as well, I'm positive. But he was out there. He was out there with the alarm, complaining. No fucking way. The only people who didn't hear the rumbling noise were Nagato, Sonia, and Chiaki. Were, were them. The secret is what these three have in common. This also be a secret that points to the killer. Oh, God. Uh. Uh. Uh, I, uh, ah, fuck. S O U S O U. No, sound isn't the first. Fuck! Oh, God. No. No! What the fuck is it gonna be? Maybe the name of the room? What was the name of the good rooms? It wasn't just luxury, what was it? Uh, I guess I should start guessing. Oh, good guess! Alright, uh, so it's a D. What is... what could D be? Deluxe? No! No! Fuck! Maybe it is deluxe, because there's... Um... Ow. Okay, so... I think it is deluxe, huh? Ugh. Fuck! Oh my god. No, you took away my... Okay, so it's deluxe... Is it? Deluxe have an E at the end, I forget. No, no, no! There's the X. There we go. So it's... A, I don't even know what happened over there. Fuck! Don't kill me! Good. No! Ugh! Uh, now, oh, you took away my M, you fuck! Uh, Ow! Oh, eh. I destroyed it by accident. Oh, baby, deluxe rooms. Yeah, I forgot there was an E at the end of Deluxe. <laughs> Deluxe. Nagito, Sonia, and Chiaki. The three of you were staying in Deluxe rooms, right? They were soundproofed. Which means Gundam, what did you do? But Deluxe rooms are. No! Wait. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna say what... I remember something that I said yesterday. I remember something. Yeah, the standard room may have so-so insulation. Yep, yep, yep. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. There we go. The reason we could oh, not hear the rumbling noise. Oh, Gundam. That's right. You know what I'm it thinking? It was because the deluxe rooms have superior sound insulation. It was a joke, Doom Jelly. I made I it a- actually noticed that. It's a joke. Nice catch, Hajime. Are you using your ultimate reserve course student talent? Mm. Now then. You guys must understand yeah. by now, right? No! The true identity of Nekomaru's killer. What? Hold on a sec. Why does that lead to who the killer is? Because there's four of you total! Why? Well, <gasps> that fact just now is a very important clue. And a decisive factor in identifying the killer. Because Gundam was there! A decisive factor? No! <laughs> My, it was a joke yesterday. Okay. Remember yesterday when I said, you know, 
How would anybody even turn the good night button on the back of Nekamara's head on? Like, without him noticing? And then I made the joke, I'm like, oh, maybe maybe one of Gundam's hamsters crawled up there and pressed the button. You can go back in the VOD! I said it! I said it! I said it! I fucking said that! The killer who murdered Nekamaru. No! <laughs> There's something I want to ask you. No! <laughs> when the alarm rang no! at the Strawberry House Lounge, no! you rushed over there too. I called right? without even knowing it. I didn't mean to! You never liked the hamster What's kid? What's wrong with that? I liked him because he was so, like, over dramatic. The bell of catastrophe rings throughout the night. It he is the universe's providence to stop it. Oh, uh, Gundam, no. Why were you able to hear it? Ah! Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? Oh, no! Nagito was staying in a deluxe room in the same house on the same floor, and he couldn't even hear it. Oh! So why were you able to hear that alarm? No! Um, my heart hurts no, over this. Gundam? There is only one possibility. You Excuse weren't me. in your room at the time. That's why, even though you were staying in a deluxe room, you still went to the lounge. Bless you, Am thank I right? you. Gundam, um, you have some sort of explanation, right? Oh. Gundam probably couldn't return to his room because of Fuyuhiko. He was in the lounge. Me? He was in the lounge. After you saw Nikomaru oh. heading to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while. Am I correct? <laughs> He's the dark Dave of destruction. Until the moment that alarm started ringing, right? <laughs> May Nekomaru shit in peace now, I know, right? If you were in the lounge for that long, the killer who had left earlier obviously wouldn't be able to go back. Oh. Even though Nekomaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest. I know, Donnie. <laughs> the killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. Like putting Nekomaru in sleep mode and With tying his him hamsters. Up with in order to do that, the killer needed to be waiting for Nekomaru at the tower. <laughs> Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru, the killer was already at the tower. And once they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. Gundam, in their why? original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. Yeah, the four dark days of destruction. That's right. And Our they hamsters. were supposed to stay in their room. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. Which means they wouldn't have heard the alarm or the rumbling sound, thus proving they were in the room. Just like us. The best case scenario would have been if those two in the lounge had gone to check the deluxe rooms. After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. <laughs> Unfortunately, they failed to secure that alibi. <laughs> because I was in the lounge. So the killer couldn't go back to their room and ended up hearing the lounge's alarm. Ah, uh, Gundam! But why'd you come out? You should've hid till the excitement died down. If Gundam tried to hide, and if those two went to his room to check on him, he would've been found out. Correct. That would have been the worst possible outcome. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. If those two had just checked the deluxe rooms as planned, that would have been ideal, but... How ironic. 
the moment Fuyuhiko set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. Gundam, what the fuck? Please, can you at least say something? Answer me this. Including myself in my four dark devas of destruction, how many ears do we possess? Huh? The answer is ten. That's right, I possess ten ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. Uh -huh. The soundproof system here may as well not exist. Is that your argument? You bastard. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? D do not panic. The truth shall now commence. At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's right. That's all it was. The world is always so simple. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little too perfect? <sighs> and yet, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. I see. You're still holding out. Well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. So, why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. Calm down. Uh, hold on a sec. You know, Hajime... Uh-oh. This class trial, this killing, it's merely the opening act, you know. Hey! What do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? Perhaps I should say it's just a farce. Fart. Just you said a fart. boring farce. Fart. So boring, so stressful. Stressful fart. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. Because he farts too Seriously. Much. Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. Nagito, something definitely happened to you, didn't it? Mm hmm? At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. You playing the bear all what, along? Well, yeah. What actually happened? Did you discover something? <laughs> well, let's just leave that fun for later. And finish this opening act already. What's up, Alicia? You How you doing? opening act again! <sighs> Please hold on! We have yet to hear Gundam's rebuttal! But Dude. he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Gundam! <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Uh-huh. Since the beginning? Based on your assumption, I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? The hatch! You were in the final dead the room first! The elevator was broken. I don't know how you did that, as but good job. I recall, the killer tampered with the Grape House control panel, which shut down the elevator. Plus, the stopped elevator should have been facing the Grape House side. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at Grape House. It's unbearable, yeah. For these reasons, I hear you, don't it's worry. an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. I know what you did. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. No, I know Are what you, you did. Serious? And here I thought it's already been decided. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. Mm hmm. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Here we go again. So many this time. 
The knife button for Yuhiko's account, wall clock, contact elevator. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, none of those that are right, are they? Um, the only means of travel between the two houses. No, it wasn't. As long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapses. Plus, the elevator was broken at Grape House. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House... Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. No. Or if there was a secret passageway. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Why don't we stop this already? Good job, Akane. You're so big brain right now. Big boob. Uh, big brain. That elevator was the only means of travel between You're wrong! The two no, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! No! No, that's wrong! No, there should have been another way to move between the two houses oh, without the elevator. Smart! Such oh, a yeah. method does not exist! Yes, it does, and you know then it! Why don't we ask the person who actually used that method? Oh, Nagito! the only one you're the only one nagito you should know dun, 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 dun. Uh, what are you talking dun, 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 dun. about don't play dumb you appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method right nagito why are you here because i showed up he teleported there's a secret passage connecting the first floor of strawberry house to the third floor of grape house Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the octagon, which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. Big brain. Big brain. Very good at finding After secret I passageways. Opened the door and went down. Well, I mean, keep in mind, in the first trial, he found the secret passageway to get under the building. Which f made us figure out how Teru killed Biaki under the table. He is good at finding secret passageways. Excuse surprise, me. Surprise, surprise! I ended up in the Monokuma Archive, which is on the third floor of Grape House. Dun 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 dun! Meaning the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Ding ding ding! Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Infinity Unlimited Flame! Oh god, here we go. However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? You went through the... F you <clears throat> There's no way they didn't know. That is merely an illusion you have fabricated huh, I can from take your away the own UI. suspicion. That's kind of cool. You guys never see Nagato's face. There's his face, though. <laughs> if you value your Boop. life, you oh, that's weird. Stop with your scrutiny. That's really weird. I just figured that out. There's no way I can stop. All right. What did you say? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. It sucks that Gundam's the killer here, but I love the voice actor still. So. All right, rebuttal. What are we rebuttal in? Wire, goodnight button, tipped over pillar, pillar fragments, clock, radio clock, broken doorknob. Okay. Okay. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. Oh my god. However, how frail, frail, I say. Your decayed illusion. How am I supposed to get those ones over there? Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Ah! How am I supposed to reach ones on the angles? Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Oh, I just have to go on an angle, I guess. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say. Your decayed illusion. Oh my god. Shall I feed ah! you to the body of vile deities? Get out of here! Now! I ran out of cuts. Oh, this one's tough because of the placement. It's all over the place. 
Okay, go again. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? <laughs> <laughs>